right. That's a little mess. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. show you. I bet you'll never guess. But I just need one quick second to go get it. That's right, baby. The rods are here. Just hoping the lighting's not too bad. Trusty, dusty knife. Some dogs to keep you company. Man, this is the best part. <laughs> Usually I try to just pull them out the bottom, but this thing's too full. I'm gonna have to cut all the way down it. One second. That's better. That's much better. Oh baby. Okay, my attempt will be to show you all the rods I got. Let me Give me one second. So as those of you may know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, uh, TFO and I started with like an ambassador contract, right? So I kind of did some stuff for them on the side. They gave me a discount on their rods and that's how I got started in fly fishing. Well, as you know, I enjoy a lot more conventional fishing, but fly fishing was something I always wanted to try. I still love it, I still go fly fishing, but conventional is my bread and butter, man. I go for walleyes. So, basically, uh, this year we've entered into a pro staff agreement, and I'm going to be demoing a lot of their brand new 2021 products, as well as some of the stuff and the staples that they've had for years, but I'm gonna show you how to use it and how to make them tools so you can be successful when you're fishing for walleye or bass or whatever your target species may be. So, brand new for 2021, this guy right here. Take the sleeve off. Ooh, that's a good feeling. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Get off of there. All right, check it out. You see that right there? That is a telescoping rod. So, you pull this guy out and what you have I gotta flip her around here. This is, and I know you can't see it, a eight foot six medium telescoping. My first impressions of this is like, it's beautiful. Like most, most telescoping rods, like when you open them up, they've got like weird little grips and things kind of at the butt section to help hold on to the rod. They have developed this very similar to what you would do with a fly rod to keep fly rod pieces together. Like really the, the more that you push them on, the tighter they eventually get. This is kind of the same thing. It feels like kind of the, the more that you pull on it, the tighter it's gonna get. Just beautiful design. I have loved the professional walleye series rods and like how they look. They just have this like cool greenish shimmer that's just beautiful. And then obviously they have the pack bay guides on here. Uh, as you can tell, the butt grip on the trolling rods is all foam, all the way down. Their other casting rods, uh, they have cork all the way down. Um, but either way, they have the foam rod butt end. And then if you can see, there's a little silver ring on here as well. Uh, and that just adds to the beauty of this thing. It's a medium with a moderate action, and this is perfect for trolling lead cork. So we're gonna see a video really soon of me trolling this rod for lead core. All right, so a boat has two sides, so therefore we have two of those rods. Now we'll, we'll keep moving along. So what we have here is, flip her around, a seven foot medium moderate fast action casting rod now this is traditionally viewed as maybe a rod that you would use to put on a bait caster and cast bass baits, right? Medium to medium heavy, you might be throwing 
uh, Ned rigs with this. You may be throwing something a little bit heavier, like a buzz bait or a spinner bait. Um, I mean, man, you could even throw topwater frogs with this. I would probably want a medium heavy for something, you know, really that heavy action. But um, this rod is traditionally not known as a trolling rod. But uh, when we're trolling in a boat and we need mobility and we need to be able to switch rods out quickly, you cannot beat a seven foot medium rod for switching things around. So um, I will show you how to maximize the use out of this. I have two of these that are going to be used for lead core and I have four of these that are going to be used for uh, my planter boards and long lining with monofilament. So these are seven foot medium, moderate fast actions, great little trolling rods for both lead core and any of your monofilament long lining. All right. Up next, baby. This is the professional walleye six foot six medium with a fast action tip. But on this rod, I promise you, the tip isn't gonna matter one bit. These rods, I have two of them. These are the ones I'm gonna modify and show you how to catch lake trout with. So these go for retail, all of their professional walleye series retail for $100. So I'm gonna modify this rod to catch big lake trout. This is the perfect walleye jigging stick. If I wasn't using this for lake trout, this would be a go-to rod for casting uh, blade baits, for casting jigging wraps, for casting paddle tails. This is the perfect rod for jigging and casting walleyes. But with a little modification, we're gonna make it the perfect lake trout stick. And we'll show you how to do that in a future episode. But I have two of these for lake trout jigging here in Colorado. Cannot wait to show you that. All right, I'm just now popping open the second batch of rods. This is gonna finish out the boat. And now we're gonna be talking a lot more about jigging and uh, live bait rigging for walleyes. Perfect. Up first is probably my favorite rod that TFO makes. And I don't care if we're talking fly fishing, bass fishing, this is hands down my favorite rod by TFO. This is the Tactical Elite Bass Rod. It's a six foot 10, medium fast, got a really nice quick action tip. It has a beautiful grip, split grip with this nice foam uh, that's awesome. It doesn't get any dirt on it. Uh, it's just beautiful. And uh, you also have your bait hook down here near the bottom so you can keep it out of your reel. Really sensitive reel seats on this rod. And then again, Going back to those pack bay guides, super smooth, good for any sort of line. This is the rod we used all last year for jigging wrap for walleyes. If you are doing any sort of jigging, this is a great rod. Now some people will go with a little bit smaller rod to control the jig a little bit better. But I found with the seven foot medium action, you can get away with a lot of baits with this thing, um, including lake trout, walleye, crappie, you name it, you can pretty much jig it with this rod, but the best use that I've seen of this six foot 10 medium tactical elite bass rod is for jigging wraps. Super sensitive, really good power, you will not miss a lot of fish with a rod like this. So this one retails for $200 on TFO's website. Uh, I don't know if you can go wrong. So if you're gonna spend a couple hundred bucks on a rod and you're looking for something that's like Top of the line, Tactical Elite Bass is one to look at. TFO's got them on their site. My particular favorite is six foot 10, medium, fast. You can also find them in, I believe, seven foot three or seven foot two versions. Um, and then I think six foot 10 is the shortest they go. Amazing rod. Okay, so while we're on the jigging topic, I just got through saying those six foot 10s are amazing jigging rods for the jigging wrap. I, kind of like a little bit smaller rod for jigging smaller stuff. So for example, one of my second baits that we use all the time is gonna be a blade bait. Uh, sometimes even a paddle tail bait. Anything you're using on a quarter ounce or lighter jig. Um, these six foot six give me a little bit more control over that bait. So I bought two of these so that clients in my boat or anybody fishing with me, we have the six foot tens for the jigging wraps 
And then we have these six foot six for the smaller jigging stuff. Um, so it's always good to keep multiple kind of sizes of rods in the boat. Um, these six foot six medium fasts will do all of your jigging uh, with the tiny stuff. So small micro jigs, blade baits, quarter ounce blade baits are what we always use. Johnson Thin Fishers or uh, any other sort of blade bait action, the mean eye from Cabela's. Um, so these are great for those jigging scenarios. So I have two six foot 10 rods and then I have two six foot six jigging rods and that kind of covers the full basis. Now these are the Pro Walleye series and the jigging wrap rods are the Tactical Elite Bass series. So great, great all around jigging rod. Definitely think about picking these up, 100 bucks for a jigging rod. A fantastic one. Okay, so last year a lot of you saw me use the seven foot medium on my boat for jigging wraps of the Professional Walleye series. I bought another one to combo that rod. So I'll have six total jigging rods on my boat, two of which are seven foot mediums, two of which are six foot 10 mediums, and two of which are six six mediums, all fast action rods. The finale of this is a little unexpected for you, but my favorite type of walleye fishing is that lazy, poor man drinking beer kind of fishing. I'm a dad now. This is the type of fishing I like doing. I would love doing this. Get a beer, get your wife to drive the boat, grab yourself a seven foot medium light little soupy rod, right? Something that's got a little soupy to it. And then you cast out your little bottom bouncer with your spinner bait. You saw the video at Pueblo and then set this thing out the side of the boat. And once you get a little tickle at the end of the rod, you give it that long sweeping hook set. The seven foot medium light soupy rod. It's kind of like a wet noodle at the end and it's got backbone, but it doesn't have so much. You're going to just rip that bait away from the fish is perfect for those long sweeping to the front of the boat hook sets. I have four of these to make sure that we can capitalize on all of our live bait rigging in the boat. I could not be more excited. Live bait rigging is about to get serious here on CO Fish Bro. All right, so I'm out here in the garage and I just wanted to show you guys one last time uh, kind of what the rundown of rods is now. Uh, this is stuff that I keep ready to go on my boat for almost every either guide trip I take or a trip with my friends or just going out and trying to catch fish. So the breakdown is I have got four lead core rods, two of which are telescoping, two of which are seven footers. So I have four lead core rods. Then I have got four straight monofilament rods. These are for planer boards or for long lining. I only have one reel in in stock right now, uh, but I have the other ones coming. So once those get here, those will go on these rods. Then I have got two six foot 10 medium jigging tactical elite bass rods. These are for those jigging wraps. So that's the tactical elites. Then I have two of the six six medium jigging rods. Those ones are gonna be for my blade baits. Those ones are gonna be for my paddle tails and just some of the smaller lighter weight jigs. Then next to those, I have two rods. Those are also six, six mediums. Those ones are gonna get modified at the ends for lake trout. So I'll show you guys that in a future video coming up really soon. Then I've got two rods that are seven foot mediums that can dual as live bait rigs, but those will also be used for certain jigging situations. And they will, when there's six people on my boat, be added in addition to these four, which are all seven foot medium light live bait rigging rods. So that's about it guys. I just wanted to show you guys the rods, the unboxing. I'm super excited and thankful to be working with TFO. So thank you TFO for sending these rods and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the content and this year we're gonna have a ton of fun on this channel. So make sure you stay tuned and we'll be fishing all these TFO rods and showing you how to use them. Thanks for watching CO Fish Bro. We'll see you next time. Miss out on our next subscriber giveaway, 10,000 for this TFO Tactical Elite Bass Combo. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, 
click the like button below. If you have suggestions of videos you want to see in the future, go ahead and leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Now enjoy these fish.